The Heritage Kohima Day, 30 weeks to live in Bloom Bazaar, do Friday din launch. It is a pilot project to Local Entrepreneurs Limited, Investment and Development Authority of Nagaland Pra Yojan Kuvishe. IDAN Chairman Abu Meta Pra Janaishi, even to Pradesh laga floriculture industry or alakalak talents can ke barava dibule or tourism ke bhi barava dibule nimite ase. It is a Tai akha kuri je Hornbill Festival homoi bi itu event of festival ke arup hal kuri ba. Itu Bloom Bazaar de 68 stalls lagod 15 department pra event te hissa loya se. Bazaar do hapta laga khodai Friday or Saturday din hobo. So uh, Bloom Bazaar is basically a very new innovative initiative by IDAN to promote uh, our floriculture industry. But side by side, we also want to show the best of that Nagaland has. Entrepreneurship, uh, talent, innovation, art. So everything is going to combine to make this Bloom Bazaar an all new experience. It will happen every weekend. Apart from being a marketplace, it should also promote entrepreneurship. It should give a boost to economy. It will create employment. It will generate employment. And also, it will assist in promoting the tourism industry. So they have several verticals, and the target section is also everybody, from young kids, school kids, to families, to tourists, to entrepreneurs, and to even buyers and sellers. They are most welcome to come and participate in this. We have an array of programs and strategies lined up for the next all the coming weekends, sometimes we will have workshops and seminars, sometimes we will commemorate special occasions. So we have an array of strategies and today is just a start, it's just the tip of the iceberg and I'm very confident that it will just keep growing from here. Looking beyond 30 weeks is a little too early now, it's just uh, the first weekend but hopefully it will continue to grow. I, I, I hope that this place will become too small for the bazaar in the coming weeks then the government can think about a permanent location. So those are some of the dreams that we have. Ultimately, Nagaland should have its own flower, permanent flower market. Not only uh, Nagaland and Kohima, but we should have it in the other districts and in the commercial hubs also. So we are looking, uh, as I said, at every weekend. And hopefully this will also become one of the interesting aspects of Hornbill Festival. So it will all... Uh, synergize with each other, collab with each other. So hopefully by the time Hornbill comes, this will be up and rolling very well and add to the value of Hornbill. No, okay. So, uh, so the, the, we are, our aim is to make Bloom Bazaar a sustainable model. It should earn revenue and be able to stand on its own feet. We are not going to bring down the structure every week, but the structure will be up here. It will adjust and accommodate with various programs. Slight tweaks up and down will take place, but the main structure will remain. That's why we need to make it sustainable. The budgets are very low. Uh, I was saying yesterday in the press conference that we have an allocation of 48 lakhs for 30 weeks. So that's, if you look at every weekend, that's hardly 2 lakhs per weekend. So we're trying to spend as little as possible, but to give opportunities as much as possible. I, I'm already impressed, but we are hardly half an hour after inauguration, so it's too early to judge. We are going to have a scientific impact report uh, every month. We'll come up in a very transparent manner. What is the impact, the economic impact, the job employment impact, you know, and the money generated. Those, all those figures will, be, uh, will come out in the public space. But I am... Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.